Rolling? Yep. All right, we're going to do a, like a little how-to video on our new uh, phone app-based device that allows us to flash. Uh, primarily, this is for the MG1s, but this will work on the older X3s and the Polaris's and all of that. So <clears throat> this right now, it, the only way we, you can flash with this device is with your phone. So we're going to go through like the process from start to finish. Um, it also will allow you to do data logging, uh, diagnostics, so like code reading, um, delete codes, read codes. Uh, it'll allow you to, you could use this on multiple vehicles. So it's just like a pretty simple, like there's licenses per bin. Um, it's actually like more or less like the actual ECU. But um, so yeah, I mean, I'm gonna rip it out of the box. I'm gonna connect to it with my phone. I'm gonna create an account. Uh, I'm going to add credits to it. I'm going to do the whole nine so there's uh, less questions about how to use this thing. So. so you'll when you purchase the device, you're going to get our R2D4 and you're going to get the BRP adapter. If you want to use it on Polaris, then you'll need to get the Polaris adapter. All right, so the six pin is the buds connector. So that's what we're going to plug into. It powered up. Okay. All right, so we'll go to the app store. We just, you could just type in TDN. Tune Delivery Network. So obviously you would download that. I've already downloaded it. So let's open up the TDN app. Agree. All right, so once we're in here, tools, set up RTD4. Next, next. So we have a steady green light on our device. We are ready. Okay, it's just giving you some warnings. We're okay with all this. I'm gonna turn this, I'm just gonna turn the machine to the on position. Next, searching for a device. I was supposed to press this button. I didn't see it. All right, so once you press and hold that button, you're gonna see the Bluetooth going off. Press and hold the Bluetooth button until it begins to slowly blink blue, which that's where we're at. Repaired. All right, so it's gonna update the device. This adds a little bit of time. You can actually, if you would like to, and you're, you're familiar, with uh, like the VCM scanner software, you can actually update the device with your computer beforehand. It speeds up the process a little bit. All right, now the device is paired to my phone. We're gonna finish. All right, I'm going to actually log out of this account. All right, so you made an account. Now, uh, so you made an account We've connected to the device. At this point, you're going to link tuners. So when you purchase the, the uh, tune and the device from us, we're going to email you an eight digit code that'll link this device and your phone to our network specific to the vehicle. So it might be like, it'll be a specific code for a four seat Maverick R. It doesn't really matter on your side. We're just going to send you a four digit code. So right now I'm gonna work on getting that code 
I'm gonna link and then we'll continue the video. All right, so at this point, I just inputted my tuner link and I accepted it on my side. So at this point, I'm going to Just reopen the app. Now we're a link tuner. Oh, let's see. So you're you're not gonna have all these, you're, you're not gonna have anything in this folder. So it's gonna be completely blank. These are just ones that I've been testing with over time. So uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna read the vehicle. So I'm gonna power the vehicle up read vehicle we are ready the rtd is showing that we're communicating with it no nope. you want to make sure the dash is orange so it failed that because it took a little bit too long let's try it again When the dash dims, that basically means the ECU is in shutdown mode. So we're just going to keep kind of keep it fired up here if we need to. All right, so now it's doing the, the actual information gathering. Good. All right, so at this point, we have the restore file, which is basically just a virtually read stock file for this machine. So that if you had to restore this vehicle to stock for whatever reason, that would be the file that you use. That's all it is. You only need to do it once. You only need to read the vehicle one time. So I'm going to now send tunes to my account. And when I send you the tune files, you're gonna get an email saying that, um, you know, to the account, email that you've received some tunes so i'm going to send tunes to me real quick and you'll see what it looks like when i when i do it all right so i i sent the tunes i got the emails i reset the tdn account and uh when i go to flash you can see the tune files are there so at this point too i um sent myself credits for this device so we will generally send these with no credits just to I guess save an issue down the road but um so this machine's on 93 octane right now it's got the launch control activated so what we're gonna do is we're gonna attempt to do so let me cancel this again so like when you're writing an ecu with this device the first time with launch control especially um it's best to do a full write the first time so if we if we hold down on the tune, this little information will come up and we want to do a full write and we're going to do a write. So it's, it's asking to sync these files into that device. So this, the machine actually doesn't need to be powered up for this. So we're going to sync files. All right. So I just finished the file sync from the phone to the device. So now I'm going to power it up. I'm going to do a full write right right now if it goes as planned it's going to tell me that i don't have credits so i can show you guys how to add your credits yep insufficient credits so i've already added the credits when i sent the tunes so we're going to go here we're going to resync rtd credits applied complete so we're gonna go back to flash here 93 full right 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 ECU still powered up
The lights are actually controlled by the ECU, so I'm just making the ECU do stuff so it doesn't shut off. And now it's flashing. All right, right finished. A right and tire does take more time than, so like when, so like say you have a launch control tune and the first time you do a right and tire, if you want to change from like 93 to E85 or race gas or whatever, at this point, all you need to do is just a right. And that takes about a minute to do. The right and tire writes a lot more of the ECU where the code is for the launch control. So once that's in there, you don't need to mess with it again. You just do writes, basically. So it, it's a much quicker process. So we're just going to finish this. So at this point, the machine has flashed. So if you wanted to do any code reading, so we're, we're going to have a code after a flash, especially right in tire. And it's no big deal. Any any of these P3 zeros are not a big deal. You could just clear it. All right. At this point, you're all set. The machine is flashed. You're ready to go. If uh, if you need any like like let's just say you start off with stock injector tunes and you want to go to E85 later. What I can do is you'll you'll just keep your stock injector tunes in there and then we'll send you the big injector tunes so your account will still have all those tune files. And then you can just flash them. Pretty simple. The configuration and the setup is probably the hardest part. Once it's actually configured, flashing is super easy and quick. So thanks for watching.